Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel, Get Crafty with Sally. My name is Sally Poole. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Oregon and today I am going to show you how I made this beautiful Easter card using the Easter Lilies bundle. I mainly used the dies but I did also use the he is Risen stamp. You can find the stamp in the mini catalog on page 26. Beautiful images. There's um, quite a few dies to cut things out with. And remember, if you buy the stamp and dies together as a bundle, you do get 10% off the price. And if you order this month, celebration is still going on. So you've got until February 29th to do that. Um, get some of that celebration stuff and grab it before it's gone. So let me show you what you're going to need to make this card. And remember, I always do have a link to a PDF with all of the measurements and products that I used down in the link, or excuse me, down below the video in the description box. So I have started with a basic white card base. Five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of gold foil. It is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And for those of you that have not watched my videos before, um, I normally cut the center of my foil out with one of the rectangle stitch dies so I can use that piece on another project. The next piece is a four inch by five and a quarter piece of basic white. And I have embossed it with the Distressed Tile 3D embossing folder. You'll also need a pretty good scrap of basic white paper for the the petals and the leaves um you could also cut your scent or stamp your sentiment and cut it out from that too if your scrap is big enough you need a piece of gold foil for the scrap that goes behind the sentiment i'm not sure if you can see that or not um scrap for the sentiment and a scrap for the stamen center of the flower so let's get started um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I don't know if you can see this or not my leaves I did not cut them out of a piece of cardstock um, I actually blended them with ink so hopefully you can see that they are varying colors of greens. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Let's move all of that out of the way. Grab our little scrap of white. And I'm going to start with Granny Apple Green. And I'm going to grab a blending brush and I'll ink up my blending brush and this isn't something that you need to be really careful about how you're doing it and how the colors are blending into each other um, it's not something that you're going to really be able to even tell so Nothing to be careful about, just 
Uh, you probably don't even need to tap that off if you don't want to. You could just take it directly off your pad and put it on there. So that is um, Granny Apple Green. And I'm guessing this is a large blend, blending brush, and I'm going to say not quite making a row as big as um, the brush, because I'm going to use three different colors. And what I am going to be die cutting out of this paper is this leaf and this leaf. So you want to make sure that you've at least got your colors um, as wide as that taller leaf. Somehow I've already got ink up there from this finger. Not sure how I did that. So let's close this up. Hopefully I won't need it again. The next color I'm going to use is Old Olive. I'm going to rub my brush on my scrap paper a little bit, get that green out of there. Um, it's not that big of a deal since I'm going to a darker color. So here's our old olive and we'll just start another row. And you don't want any white in between the colors of green. And depending on the look that you want, um, you could leave the greens lighter if you want your leaves to be lighter, or you could just keep layering on the color. And it will dry a little bit lighter than what you've put down on the paper. So let's close up our old olive. Next, I'm gonna grab Garden Green. Clean my brush off a little bit again. We'll pick up that garden green ink. And some of you might be going, well, that is a weird selection of greens to put together. Um, but you might be surprised when it's finished and you've cut your leaves out, um, that it really does look good. And it's kind of hard to notice the different colors. I don't even know if um, people would notice it if they weren't looking for it. So depending on how many cards you're going to make, um, I actually cut a the long edge of an 8.5 by 11 and did this because I made several cards. So that's what you're going to end up with. And then um, I've already cut my leaves out, but you would... Take these dies and lay them on here. I would probably go a little bit farther than this now, so I'm not having to angle these and waste everything. So you would just cut these out across this piece here. So you can see that maybe you'll only get six or seven leaves out of this little piece that we've done. So that's how I did that. So we'll get that out of the way. And then the next thing I'm going to do, let me grab a clean paper. The next thing I'm going to do is color my lily petals and there are three 
sets of petals in this set and um, you can layer them several different ways. There's what I'm using for the back and I'm lining up these two little bottom circles and I'm going to glue them together. So there's that and then you would put this here. Well, the stamen goes on first. Or you could also turn this to the side a little bit. Line up that little round bottom part and then put your stamen in and then this. So you would have that. Or you could turn this that way depending on the layout of your card. So that's completely up to you. You could also do this if you wanted. So that kind of looks like a little star. And I don't know if you can see this or not. Um, there are little cuts. These aren't just lines that are in there. They're all little cuts. So what I'm going to do is grab my bubble bath ink and a blending brush and I'll get a little bit of this bubble bath ink and I'm just going to start going around in circles right in the center of that and I might go out a little bit. Kind of hard to just get a small amount of color on the petals with this brush and I don't want a whole lot of pink on here so I'm going to grab this other set of petals put some pink in the center maybe go up the petal a little bit If you want to do some coloring on, I'm going to call it the veining, where those little cuts are, um, you could take the end of a Q-tip and do that. I don't really want it on this card, but I'll just do that. You can kind of just draw it right along the edge of that, um, and you could do it on the veins however you wanted. or you could use a stamp and blend. Just depends on the look that you're going for. So let me grab this card. I don't know if you can see it very well or not. On the petals, I did take the Q-tip with some bubble bath ink and go along those little lines. So that is a different look that you can get. This one is softer. So let's next grab our I've got um, a piece of basic white paper and I've die cut two stamens and for this I'm going to take Parakeet Party. Hopefully I have got a smaller green brush. I thought I did. I do. So I'll get a little bit of that parakeet party. I think it's a little bit um, yellower than the other greens I was using. So I'm going to do both of these since I've got them out. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that on there. And then we'll put this ink away. And next I'm going to use my Daffodil Delight 
and you can skip this step if you want. I don't know if it's really necessary. Let me grab another little brush um, because I'm going to end up uh, going over the little ends of this anyway with my stamp and blend. So I'm going to take my blending brush and just put a little bit of that Daffodil Delight ink on the ends of there. So it's hard to get into this little one. That's why I ended up using the blending brush. So we'll close that ink up. That might be the end of our ink experience. So now I'm going to take my, this is a dark Daffodil Delight. You can see that I have pretty much ruined the tip of it, probably from coloring on gems. So I'm just going to color the ends of those. Okay, so that's what we end up with. So let's pop one of these out. And now let's put our lily together. Um, before I glue this, I'm going to actually take my finger and I'm going to roll that. You can also use a bone folder or you can use a pen, wrap it around a pen. Then I'm going to flip it over and make the very end of the petals come up. So I don't know if you can see that, but it certainly does add a lot of dimension. I was going to also mention, I have some cards coming in the mail today, which I get super excited about, some happy mail. And um, for those of you that are not aware, uh, USPS.com, the Postal Service, if you go online, there's a spot called Inform Delivery um, where you can create an account and you can actually log in. I don't know what time they post it, but I usually look like after 7 p.m. And you can actually see photographs of the mail that you're going to receive the next day. So that's kind of cool. So if you aren't aware of that, check it out. It is a pretty neat thing. So I'm going to take my green glue, put a little bit of glue on the bottom of this petal piece with two petals. And we'll lay the piece with three petals over it. Then I'm going to put a little bit of glue down towards the bottom and I'm going to add my stamen piece. I'm going to roll it up a little bit too. Now these will probably get smunched once you stick them in the envelope and they go on their happy way through the mail. And then the last piece is this little front piece. So we'll put a little bit of glue on it. And set it right down here at the bottom. So there's our lily so far. What do you think about that? Um, Easter this year is March 31st. Of course, it's always on a Sunday. So 
You do have time still. If you don't already have this bundle, you still have time to order it and make some of these cards and get them sent out to your friends, or you could hand some out at church. That would be nice. Um, and if you do order through me, I do refund standard shipping on orders that are $60 or more. So you would get your shipping refunded. And if you order this month, you'll also get the appropriate celebration items. So that is an awesome deal. So let's set our lily to the side. And we'll start with our card base now. So I'm going to take my gold foil piece and my basic white embossed piece. And I usually put glue on the back of this, um, but I always seem to get it too close to the edge and it oozes out on this foil. I don't have a lot of good luck with foil. So I'm going to try putting the glue on the foil this time. And I might just put a little whoop-de-doo in the corner to make sure that it gets caught. I'm going to have to stand up so I can get this straight. So we'll lay that right on top of our gold foil piece and try to get it centered. I don't see any oozing. Yay, that's a good thing. So now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to take some of my tape I think I got a little bit off that edge I want to make sure it's good and stuck so here's our card base folded in half that a good burnishing. So let's lay this piece down on our card base. Okay, so we are getting there. So let me grab my little leafy pieces and we'll decide which ones we want to use and I really had a hard time for some reason um, putting these leaves and this lily on a layout that I thought looked good it's hard to get those leaves in the right position Maybe you guys know a better way than I did it. But my problem is, is I glued the leaves down and one of the lily popped up. So I can't really put glue on the back of the lily and then stick the leaves on there. So anyway, what I did was, let me curl these real quick. Gonna do it just like I did the lily petals and I'm not sure which ones of these I'm going to use yet and I honestly only need four for this card So let's take this little fat leaf and tuck it under here. 
You want to make sure it's not going off the edge of your card. And then this one goes over here. And I want it a little bit showing underneath this petal. And then I'm going to take one of these skinny ones. Well, maybe I'll glue these down first. I suppose you could also put your dimensionals on the back of the lily and then stick the leaves to the dimensionals that way. Okay, so let me get my lily where I think I want it. And I'm going to want a little bit more of that showing. So that looks good so far. So let's I think I want this one with the lighter edge. That one up there. And then I guess you could use either end of these. I think I want the skinny one. And I've already stamped my sentiment and die cut it. So, all right, let's see what that looks like underneath there. So we could cut a little bit of this off. I just, whoo, got a lot of glue. I just don't want a whole bunch of um, dimension underneath the lily with these. I don't want them all stacked on top of each other. I'm going to cut the end off of this one too. And I'll lay that one there and let's set our lily back on here and see how this is coming. So that, run up that way a little bit more. This, maybe there. Okay, so there's three leaps I don't need. Let me grab my dimensionals and we'll put dimensionals on the back of the lily. I want all of these petals popped up even though they're curled. Let me get a little half for the bottom. And we'll pull all the covers off. I think I've got glue on my fingers. So I didn't think that it looked so wonderful that way, but maybe it's okay. I liked it turned a little more artistically. So we'll give our dimensionals a little push there. So now, um, so I've stamped 
the He is Risen stamp from the Easter Lily set. And I'm going to put this gold piece behind it. This um, die cut is from the Thoughtful Expressions set, the one with the hummingbird, and it's the smallest um, label die there in the set. So obviously you can see that I've cut both of these with that, so what in the world do you do with that? I'm just going to cut it in half the long way. I'm going to grab my trimmer. You could use scissors if you want. It's not a big something that needs to be a perfect perfect cut. Cut it bowed a little bit. Oh good grief. Okay, so now I've got that in two pieces. Whoops, excuse me. Just hit my camera with my trimmer. So there's those two pieces. I'm going to flip my sentiment over, put a little bit of glue on the back at the top. If I can get it to come out. And then I'm just going to lay this right on top of that gold piece and I'm going to scoot this paper right up to those um, I don't even know what you call it there's the little dashed dashed line that has been pressed into the die cut so we'll turn that over put some more glue on the bottom Take our other half and do the same thing. Trying to get it even. It does line up pretty well with these little straight pieces. So there's that. And you could either pop this up on dimensionals too if you want or glue it. And I'm just going to glue it. To stand up to get this straight. So we'll place our sentiment on our card front. He is risen indeed. Something we should all be so grateful for. And then for the gold card, I am using the Sweet Little Pearls from the Festive Pearls set. And I normally only put three embellishments on things, but I'm actually going to put five on this card. So I'll put one over here. One down here, one right up here, one over here, and one on the sentiment. So there is our Easter Lily He is Risen card. Isn't that beautiful? What do you think of it? Let me know. Leave me a comment. I will be um, giving one of these cards away. Probably, I'm going to say the middle of March, I'll pick a winner. So if you just leave a comment under this video, um, you will be entered into a drawing to receive one of these cards. So here is the original card. And you can see that the center of the lily 
is um, Parakeet Party. This one is Bubble Bath. And then I have um, another one that is Parakeet Party. And I've used uh, Daffodil Delight paper instead of the gold. Then I've also got this one, which is Bubble Bath with Silver Foil. That one's kind of pretty too. And then I've also got this portrait style card with the big lily at the top. And I do have additional leaves under this one because it, for some reason, it really drew your eye to this blank spot up here. So that one has got six leaves under it. This one is bubble bath. And then I've also used bubble bath cardstock. This one has um, iridescent pearls with it. Um, the only thing I used different from those and the festive pearls. This one I used the loose silver sequins. Um, they kind of look like little dew drops. It's kind of cool looking. So anyway, there you have it. There is the card for the day using the wonderful new Easter lilies bundle. So like I said, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your comments. Um, if you're getting anything out of my videos, please hit the like button, share my videos with your friends and family, and I would totally appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So thank you for stopping by and spending a little time with me today. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Bye!